we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Aquarius. Hi, how are you? I hope everyone is well. Thank you for being here with me, Elle, to do your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person, each and every Aquarius that comes to the reading with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see, Aquarius, what's happening for Aquarius right now? What are the messages for Aquarius right now? It's very given time. Whoa, okay, Knight of Pentacles coming out, popping out of the deck. All right, so Aquarius, focus, dedication. Some of you could be a bit bored. Whether that's in love or that's career and finance. It says focus, dedication, um, devotion to whatever it is. Whether it's love or it is in career and finance, you will see the rewards of hard work. This also talks about guardian angels. You could be working with your guardian angels now. Um, getting to know your guardian angels. Talking to your guardian angels. You could have gotten advice. In regards to, you know, angelic advice, intervention. Let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. The high priestess, yeah, can't make it up. So it's like, um, listen to your intuition, listen to that still voice, going it alone, taking time for yourself. This could be working on self, working on a project that just really governs you and what you want to do for self. This could be self-employment. The high priestess sits alone at the wall. And then you get the ten of pentacles coming out. So some of you focus still on long-term goal, achievement, fulfillment, financial stability for you and yours. Uh, this could even be working on um, leaving a legacy, an empire, building something greater, bigger, maybe even pulling in a large sum of money for some of you. Let's see what else. Whoa, the guide. Okay, so the Hierophant. Some of you have gone, gotten under some type of tutelage, guidance, gone to school, reading a book. The Hierophant always talks about reading books, um, just gaining knowledge about what you need to do for your situation at this very time. Yeah, the strength card at the bottom of the deck, the strength card says it's the best time to start your own thing. Most times that's your own business. With the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles, with the strength card, it talks about um, being strategic in regards to your business, other people's money. Of course, if you're a business owner, you want people to patronize you, whether that is your service or your product, so how can I get other people's money? How can I sell my item? How can I make this um, extremely profitable for myself and for others? The Ten of Pentacles is money that really affects the whole, the family, long-term stability. Some of you got some angelic guidance. The transference of wealth is happening. You got knowledge of what to do or how to do it. Something in 10 days or 10 months or 10. 10 is significant for you. Uh, you got some type of guidance with the uh, Hierophant card that you need to do something on a strict rule regimen. I don't know if you're going to be doing something. So you went to the high priestess. You got some knowledge of 
what you need to be devoted and dedicated to because it's going to give you you know absolute security in terms of you know financial security uh, and they gave you a routine uh, they gave you some type of regimen uh, that you need to follow something that you need to do religiously this could even be meditation this could be studying the Bible. You could be studying to be clergy. I'm saying that a lot. Or just studying to learn so that you know about yourself. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, what signs are you dealing with? Or what's in the astrology for the Aquarius? So it looks like some of you just like, look, I can't do this by myself. I need some knowledge of, you know, how to do it. I need to talk to someone who has done it. I need to get some, some knowledge. You went to source, universal source or you went to a person, maybe you were guided to a person that could bring you um, that uh, clarity. Let's see what is happening for Aquarius right now. I know it, second house. So something about your income, assets, definitely. You're focused on that, finances, um, maybe even your wardrobe, okay? Uh, credit score, credit worthiness, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, we we're talking about some routine regimen. Um, so it's like, I don't know if you're praying, on a day-to-day -day basis about the same thing. Um, you're gonna do that for however long. Um, it's something about uh, structure, m m Taurus. This would be like something to do with Taurus. It's something to do with your finances, your assets, worldly possessions, your values, what you prioritize. This could even have something to do with you prioritizing Uranus. Okay, so this is you. Revolution. Whoa, well, and the 10th house came out. So some of you are really trying to make some revolutionary change in your finances. And you're buckling down and doing what you need to do to see absolute abundance. It's like you're listening to yourself that maybe you need to bet on self. You need to do for self. You need to go for self, but you got to be devoted. You've got to look over your finances. You've got to be honest. You got to dot all the I's, cross all the T's. You got to go back. Um, you have to be practical, okay, in order to see this type of abundance in your life. It is your birthright because you got tens coming out twice. So something is over for you. Maybe absolute collapse, calamity, destruction. The curse is broken. It's something that you are doing, you will be doing religiously. Um, the spontaneous uh, nature of yourself, Aquarius, which is Uranus, um, the planet that governs you, it's like you're gonna have some type of breakthrough or you've had a breakthrough. You're gonna use your originality to um, maybe be innovative, start something new, bring it into fruition, to be a humanitarian, to reform yourself, to have absolute freedom. Again, a curse or something heavy is broken over you. It's just about you prioritizing, getting real with yourself, your finances, and what you bring to your table. Something about performance or being the face of or putting yourself out there with the strength card. Some of you could be performers. You're going to get on stage or the stage is set. Now you just have to perform. This is quiet composure also. A lot is going on around you, surrounding you, Aquarius, but you, you're, you're quietly composed about it. You're, of course, with the high priestess, you're not letting anybody know your business or what you're doing or how you're doing it or blah, blah, blah. It's nobody's business but yours. What's happening for the uh, Aquarius? We just had this new moon. We're going to pull from the uh, Monology deck. What's happening for Aquarius? So this is like you do your business, you do what you need to do, and then you go back to where you go away from and um, you start to manifest, you start to grow, you start to learn, you're picking up books, you're doing something ritualistically where there's meditation. Um, I don't know, it has, could have something to do with astrology also, uh, learning who you really are, soul school. Um, you know that a decision has to be made about Oh, yeah, with these two twos, which road are you taking? Are you going to be the co-creator in your destiny? Or are you allowing for someone else to write, write your destiny? The answers you need are coming. Uh, full moon in Gemini. So some of you have gone to someone. Try, Gemini coming up again. Communication is, is key. New moon in Gemini. So Gemini could be 
um, significant for you. Three, the third house, communication. Some of you are a communing, intervening, divine intervention, intervention, communing with spirit, with your angels, using angelic uh, presence to get what you want or to get knowledge of how to do or what to do. Some of you got some um, extreme knowledge of what to do or how to do it. How you communicate or how you come off to others is key. The spontaneous breakthrough behavior, the unexpected, a surprise, maybe in your reputation, the 10th house, your career, your achievement, your purpose. Some of you are coming into purpose. Empire with the Ten of Pentacles talks about empire. Happy, organized people build empires. So you know that you need to be happy, organized, so that you can build your empire. Some of you were allowing, what, what is going on here? It's like, okay, yeah, three of swords. So you had to separate from somebody or something, something about your communication has been cutting or separate. Or you're setting yourself apart or you're divorcing a way of life that you used to be in or how you used to allow people to do whatever, say whatever. You're no, no longer misrepresentation of you, uh, miscommunication, even quiet composure. The Ace of Wands, you're starting something new. I knew the Four of Swords was coming out. Some of you have been allowing for, um, you have been just allowing people to trigger you, okay? And you were taking on that quiet composure. Then you, you kind of had like a breakthrough and you kind of spazzed out on somebody or you let them know that they can't do what they used to do to you or say about you before. I don't know, something about changing, something about eliminating triggers. Okay, you don't, ex you don't just exist with triggers. You eliminate them, whether it is you put in distance between you and them, or you just all together say, get out of my life. But you, it's, all, it's something about healing. And healing, um, understanding that some of these relationships aren't going to be mended, or they can't be mended, because there's still somebody in that falsehood, in that um, deceptive nature, in that uh, frenemy type of energy. Um, they don't mean well for you. They just want to be a part of your life so they can pick at it or pick it apart or talk about you or, I don't know. It, it's definitely you setting yourself apart with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, wow, in the world with the Two of Swords. It says be cautious about cutting people out of your life. I don't think that you really cut them out, but you have put some distance between you and them. The Two of Swords, a decision needs to be made. You're not making it right now, but you are deciding to not engage, burying, burying your head in the sand or just walking away from it altogether. This could be in love. This could be, it looks like a big family dynamic. We had the Ten of Pentacles, we had the Four of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, which talks about mother, some of you have come a long way and you're not allowing yourself to bask in that, the, the joy of coming from nothing to something or making something out of nothing or um, creating. It's just like getting, getting, getting. Keep in mind that the queens are the doers of the tarot. So there's just a lot of doing here. And they want you to settle your energy and rest in the energy of abundance. Um, Guard your emotional stability because things or people are coming in trying to destabilize you, right? Whoa, okay, with that Uranus trying to destabilize you and trigger you from your healing process or from just being set apart or being put up. You know, some of us just put up. We, we're not out in the world. We put up. We'll come out when we want to, but some of us are just put up. It just is what it is. Your communication, though, the answers that you need are coming in regards to a, a specific person. Yeah, or maybe a relationship that was unhealthy for you. It was toxic. It was drama-filled. It put you in a fear-based type of energy. Maybe it was third party. You want answers about this connection. And you have already given communication to somebody else who was triggering you to go backwards or trying to pull you backwards. Wow. You're about to have something extremely... Um, I heard insurmountable. I don't know. Extremely um, 
it's just going to be out of the blue. It says believe in the impossible blue moon. So, you know, when you hear people say blue moon, of course, you know, uh, once in a blue moon, something all, something comes together, something comes together for you all at once. Um, it's got something. So ask your angels in regards to how to deal with people, family members who you had to cut off, who there, there was a, a strong tie to, but you had to cut them off because the, I don't know if they're going to be a part of this next phase in your life, but it still hurts because there is emotional ties there. Somebody here who's toxic. We got a lot of Libra cards. I don't know. So you, well, we got all of the Libra cards, two, three, and four of swords. So you definitely had to cut somebody off, whether it was, it was in words, you know, you had to just, Tell them not today, not now. Tell them how you felt. Tell them about maybe you knew about some sneaky activity that was going on. And right now you just haven't really made a decision about them being out of your life. Definitely. Like, it, you know, it's just, it's kind of up in the air. It, it looks like there will be reconciliation, reunion, but just not now. Because something big is about to come in for you. Believe in the impossible, Aquarius. Let's talk about this person that you still want answers on. This looks like it could be in love. Um, it's like you're resisting them or they're resisting you. You're resisting going to them or re resisting them coming back to you. What is this about for Aquarius? The answers you need are coming, okay? Um, the star card. So it looks like you want to have compassion uh, forgiveness. Get on, you want to be on the right path with this person. Or they want this with you. So it's just about decluttering your emotions and then also letting go, releasing the baggage from the past, Aquarius. It's hard when you don't know if you should or if you shouldn't. Yeah, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. If you should work on this, give it another try. The eight of pentacles can sometimes talk about, about giving somebody or a situation a try or tries over and over again to work on this again. The three of pentacles. This may have been some long-term love affair that really didn't turn into like a marriage or a boyfriend and girlfriend. Or you, you guys said it was that, but it... It didn't feel that way, and somebody was just a liar. The cards want you to know it's time for you to release negativity, okay? Because you're about to get something major that comes into you. It's going to be, like, insurmountable. I don't know. It's going to be, like, big. This could even be a major opportunity. A contract. You don't know if you should go and talk to a feminine energy about this could be somebody in your family about somebody's somebody dealt with you or dealt with something in regards to you very ruthless like they were just like they wanted it so they took it i don't know what they took from you ten of pentacles coming out it could be money a lot of pentacles on the table your money situation is will change you got cancer wanting to show its face here um the doula so cancer Okay, that's something to do about you being sympathetic, nostalgic, thinking backwards, though, having really fond, sentimental uh, thoughts about maybe mother. You get a lot of feminine energy, mother, a friend who is a feminine. If you're masculine and you're here for a woman, then you're doing a lot of thinking about this particular person wanting to bring this person back it could have been a third party situation where somebody was just looking up to somebody for sex sexual activity yeah the cards want you to know that you are good enough okay i think we're in virgo season or we're coming out they want you to know that you are good enough. Something or someone made you to believe that you weren't good enough or you weren't important enough.
Something about writing, scribing, script, scribing, I don't know, um, journaling. You're going to have to keep a journal of what's going on with you because it's going to be really big for you. It looks like it's coming kind of um, yet another Virgo card, a time for rather to take than to give, a time to give than to take. I'm just getting, in all of your getting, get understanding. Aquarius, like, you, you might be acquiring a lot. You need to get understanding about where you're going and what the next phase is. Maybe around Libra time, a romantic cycle begins for you. It's yes a thousand times about a certain particular person. Someone could resurface the rekindling of. I told you you had a lot of Libra cards. You could be dealing with the Libra. I'm hearing that somebody wants to come back around their birthday or someone's expecting you for their birthday. You could have Libra in your chart. Engagement could be on the cards for you, Aquarius. What's the advice moving forward for Aquarius? Believe in the impossible. The Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. You're not stuck. You just need to balance things out. You're in some type of transition. You're in some type of, it's a limbo area. It's one thing is ending, another is beginning. You may feel stuck. You may feel like you it's insurmountable or you can't get out or you can't move, but you're not. Um, don't allow people to put you in situations where you do feel stuck. The King of Cups. We had the queen and king of cups here. We do have a dynamic. We have a relationship coming out. The nine of swords. Balance out your affairs, your emotional affairs. Release negativity surrounding yourself and feeling like you're stuck or you're trapped or you're never going to get out of. This negative thinking can hinder manifestation. That's why they want you to hold your vision because whatever you're doing is gaining momentum. Gemini cards. Gemini is, I think, so something about your thoughts Aquarius is not allowing you to move forward or it's, it's halting it or you're just getting just enough six of pentacles or you feel like you're only you're, you're going to be in some type of low vibing begging type of situation forever or you're not going to it's going to take you a long time to see abundance or money or some of you are about to enter into a period of like this looks like like fame or fortune the opportunity for wealth you can get a lot of people coming at you a lot of people coming at you why is that why is aquarius gonna get a lot of people coming at them seven of pentacles the high priestess oh you're in irresistible ir desirable there's something about you your aura some of you could be kind of at this time period like not having sex, kind of chaste or um, just pious or just abstaining altogether. People want you to take them out of this low vibing energy. So they come into you and they want the energy exchange to happen. But they want your energy. You can take their negative energy, you know, or you can leave it. But they definitely want yours. I can't make it up the three of cups with the ten of swords. So... You're going to get a lot of people coming at you, Aquarius, because 
your aura is changing. You're the essence of you. You look different. You smell different. There's something about you. People can't put their hands on it, their finger on it. Um, you're a threat amongst others or amongst other women. You got a lot of feminine cards here. You got the high priestess twice. There's a lot of inner knowing with you. The crown chakra is on point. What you think you bring to life, your thoughts are coming straight down from universe spirit. Or they're coming straight from angelic, the angelic realm, or they're coming from a higher, higher thinking, higher place. This could even be somebody wanting to be like you, look like you, dress like you, be you. You're getting a a lot of cards of wanting to communicate with you because low place or low vibing or no confidence. This could even be like a stalker type of vibe. Someone stalking you, hoping that you will come out of hermit mode, trying to figure out what you're doing or who you're doing it with. Who is now in your life? Who is taking care of you? Who is... Who is providing for you? Somebody wants to know financially, what, how are you doing that? Or what do you do? Or how much money you make? Or how did you systematically get yourself out of something? How did you pull yourself out of something? Someone could even be trying to, to, to divine your energy or your, your, um, your life or your circumstances. So they're going to magic or tarot card readings or wherever and trying to yeah, I can't make it up with the five of wands trying to figure out what it is you're doing. Yes. Wow. So this person is wanting to take something from you. Wow, they are malicious. I asked the cards, are they malicious? Seven of Swords, the Sun card, the Knight of Wands. It's like you see them, though. They're, they're trying. Okay, so universe is letting you see them. So the Seven of Swords is trying to go undetected, right? Scheming. But then there's exposure of somebody's plan, of what, how they want to take, not reciprocate, get what they can, and then leave with the Knight of Wands. getting exposed so, oh somebody have already stolen from you maybe is this somebody that already stole something from Aquarius and they're hoping that Aquarius doesn't figure it out yes and this could be a woman yeah with the queen of wands or somebody in feminine energy already stolen something from you or they're stealing from you actively Looks like the universe is going to put a death to this if somebody's on death's door or somebody's on their deathbed or something is ending. There's going to be a, a whoa, with the, whoa, with the ten of wands, with the ten of swords. That could be an actual death with the five of cups. My condolences. Somebody's death could have maybe it was supposed to bring you some type of change but somebody I am keep on hearing usurp I don't want to use a word because I use it a lot <laughs> but somebody was definitely trying to usurp so they're trying to take your importance uh, or your position by force or they already did this is conspiring so they conspired with other people to do this to hold you down. This could be Pisces. This is Gemini. Somebody is definitely it's like all in cahoots to keep the Aquarius away from or keep them down.
not this could be like inheritance this could be anything something you were supposed to get something and somebody just kind of like came in and swooped it two of cups this is spiritual this might even be spiritual warfare it's like somebody took what was yours what was meant for you all along knight of cups ace of pentacles it looks like it could be returned to you yep with the will of fortune the two of wands and then the ace of pentacles Some of you, something happened early on in your life and it put you on the wrong trajectory. Whether it was, it put you on the struggle bus, whether emotionally, mentally, or like monetarily put you on the struggle bus. And it's all because somebody took something. looks like somebody is going to die or, or they're, you know, like they're ill. Somebody is doing something to you. Maybe they, they continue doing it and they, they're going to die, you know. Um, all of it's unfortunate. We do not laugh at our enemy's calamity. We pray that they, you know, um, repent and we move on with our lives but it looks like somebody is the wheel is turning whoa I just feel like big ass energy I don't know what's coming in big I'm gonna try to pull and this has been last spread you see like big you got big energy big big energy I'm gonna see Okay. Something could be coming in three. Whoa, and the three of cups. Three of cups. I don't know if something's gonna come in an installment. Installment of three. Or you got people coming at you in by the threes. I don't know. You got people coming at you. Let's see. High priestess again. Different deck. Two of cups. You know something, Aquarius. Pay, page of wands with the some big money about to come to you. Something big is about to come to you. You suffered enough. King of Pentacles. Partnership. Because you're a wise woman, you're a wise person. You have uh, you give good advice. You can divine, you can rightfully divine the page of wands, big energy coming towards you, knight of pentacles. Again, because you stay dedicated or devoted. Oh, you stay dedicated and devoted even when you were down, even when you were, you know, people were kicking you, people were doing all kinds of things to you. Things weren't working out for you. You stay dedicated, devoted, committed to. Some of you have gone through like a Job type story. And this is recompense. This is reward for. This is coming through. Wow. You coming through and now you're going to be able to explore and, you know, live life on your own terms with the Page of Wands here. Page of Swords. You could be showing others the way. You, you could be becoming a teacher. You could read the tarot. You could be into the esoteric. You could be some healer of some sort. You could be coming into understanding that you should be a healer, that you should, you do some type of earth magic or um, you can heal. You have the healing touch, the world coming into who you're supposed to be. Graduation, maturation. So you're maturing in your gifts here. Spiritual awakening, awareness about you. Whoa, three of cups. So you're being celebrated, maybe in the heavenlies also. Um, commercial success here, whatever you're doing, it's gonna be big and far reaching. Um, 
success, triumph, victory. Temperance. Victory and success. Wow. The will of fortune at the bottom of the deck. I don't know the, the appointed time or timing or destiny or fate. This is your fate. This is what you're supposed to be doing. It's like you get it in alignment with the universe. You're finally getting to understand where you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. And now you can come into easier life or easy street because you're not fighting against. It's not restriction or resistance it's not an uphill battle because you're not doing what you're not supposed to be doing you're doing what you're supposed to be doing what you were made to do what you were created to do destiny fate something about changing the trajectory it's like um, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor of course it's turning it's going on the downstream for somebody else though you got pisces sagittarius coming up Cancer. I mean, you got everybody. You don't get caught up in that. You had to cut somebody off. You had to cut this out. Whoa, another another two of swords. Cut one of them to come out. Who's this? It feels like you know, like. You just felt like downtrodden, forgotten. Like is every day was a struggle. Like, is this my life? Um, just kind of being on autopilot, wondering when it would end. You're finally surrendering and letting go and working with the energy and not against it. Some of you are listening to the calling that's been on your life or are you listening to your intuition about what it is you should be doing what you should be partnering with or to how you need to change maybe your career but before doing so you're going to have to get things in order something about order out of order get something in order this could even be your money your credit worthiness or your worthiness or just your your knowledge base, the fear, your confidence. Maybe because in the past you were in a place of extravagance, doing too much or taking on too much with the Ten of Wands. So things were falling apart. Ooh. The collapse, the calamity came because you put a lot of weight on yourself, cracking from the weight of your of your own success. So it's like you doing too much for some of you. Now you come out renewed, page of wands. Can you see these cards? Um, it's like you finally get it. Abundance is your birthright, but only when you're in alignment. Yeah, okay, with the world and the devil in the same spray, you finally get it. You get the message. The struggle bus may have been created by you just doing too much or doing, going after this or going after that or switching up or changing up. There was no uh, perseverance. There was always a change, quick, fast, in a hurry. It's like you're being directed to start something new, but this is going to be foundational, and this is what you're supposed to be doing. All of a sudden, there could be like collapse or you all of a sudden you could just be, what is this? I heard debate or defeat. Who's been defeated though? All of a sudden, the tower with the five of swords, four of cups. So it's like you get something. You get it. This one to come out. Oh. By sharpening your words, justice card, making something right. Speaking your true karmic debt. Something's been paid already. 
all of a sudden you you see maybe yourself sabotaging ways, like trying to do too much. You know, you come into a place of balance or trying to balance things out or understanding within yourself cause and effect. You see maybe at times you were the cause of something falling apart or it not working. You're seeing that now you can have a healthy relationship with the lovers coming out. You can get what you want. You can have you can have fun in the sun. You're right on the brink of it. Just don't give up. Don't give in. It might be tough times. You might be learning something and doing it at the same time. You might be coming to some intuitive awareness by doing something. You may have an aha moment. That maybe you're in a place of you can have a power dynamic shift. If you stick with something, if you persevere, if there's prudence. Something about learning and writing. You could be a writer, learning, learning to write, write, putting something out, script. I don't know. You come to some absolute clarity, though. It, it comes to you by way of clairvoyance. You're developing your clairvoyance and your um, intuition. Now you can manifest or something is somebody's found out again we're getting somebody's being found out exposure about it could be in your family about what somebody did to you or what they took from you this could even be by way of someone doing something to you that was absolutely heinous it was egregious it's you know the unthinkable and the unforgivable and they put you on the course of maybe not taking care of yourself not looking after yourself Drugs, alcohol, not caring, just a, a whirlwind, a spiral, a downward spiral. That could be someone taking your inheritance too. Now, it could be physical in terms of, you know, someone took money or possession or assets from you, right? And you didn't ever get to partake in that. But it looks like you're getting on the right path again, Aquarius. You come into understanding yourself. This is the star card. Clearing out alignment, alignment of chakras, meditation, healing, deep soul healing, understanding what part you play in the universe with the star card. Releasing emotions, pent up, bottled up emotions. It talks about releasing the emotions and decluttering your emotions. Also, releasing the emotions or the baggage from past relationship. Relationships are romantic, platonic, familiar. So just whatever type of relationship. Somebody hurt you, didn't do for you, wasn't there for you, and it puts you on this path. When if they did do this for you, if they care for you, if they loved you, it would have put you on the other path. Someone took from you, kept it back from you, lied to you, and it put you on that path. And if they did give it to you, you would have this life. So it's like, now you're coming into understanding. Somebody could have just had an energetic and mental hold on you too, to where maybe you felt like you couldn't release. Ooh, this could be a mom, mother energy. Now it's not that your mother was sitting around with a crystal ball divining on you, or maybe like, um, you know, doing spells over you. But sometimes the thoughts that could be so powerful, especially if they were the thoughts of maybe this mother was too, had her grips on you too much, um, didn't want to see you flourish, didn't want to see you grow, didn't want to see you grow wings, didn't want you to leave, didn't want you to have your own, didn't want you to have better than her, didn't want you to do this, have your own life, get married, have a pr productive and fruitful life, right? She knew that's what she didn't want for you. So from the time you were a baby, that was in her mind. So imagine somebody cradling you like this and that being in their mind to when you, now you can start walking and you start talking and that's still in their mind. And now you're, you're at school and now that's still. So that energetic 
hold on you. I don't know, some of you broke it or you're breaking it. You're breaking free of it, of thinking that you need somebody or you need this or you need that family member or you need to have them around, even though they treat you like or they try to cut you down. But they didn't give an F when it was time for them to give an F about you. This is powerful. Whatever's coming into you, this card keeps coming out healing. You going through some type of healing. Wow. Another seven card. Could 77 could be significant. Power. You see that? Power. Getting your power back. Somebody has some deep hold on you. They have like their hooks in you. Why would somebody do this though? Like, why wouldn't they want to see you fly? Oh, let's go. Why wouldn't, especially if it's a mother or a father? Okay. The theatrics. I don't know, this could even be somebody, as soon as you wanted to do for yourself, if you had something better than them, they came with the theatrics, they came with the this um, little snide, sideways comments. They just didn't want you to take life serious, or they didn't want to take you serious, or they would say little things to you to make you maybe even question yourself. Why were they doing this though? This might be somebody else with low self-esteem and they just, they don't know. People aren't possessions, yeah. Low self-esteem, I'm horrible with money. They don't know where their value system is. They saw that you were strong. They didn't want you to be strong. Yeah, this is a person that says anything to you. They would say anything to you, maybe even make promises, whoa, but not be there for you. This could be a lover, this could be a family member, this could be a friend, but now you're seeing through this person. Look what's coming towards you, Aquarius. All that was lost. Big money. Somebody could have been manifesting off of you because they were strictly in carnality. Yeah. Sex, drugs, cars, image. Maybe that's where you're coming from. Somebody, you could be Caucasian. Now you're questioning a lot. Like, what type of magic did they do on you? Why did they do this? Was it that this person was like, it just keeps coming out. Is, they just, they just are. You, money, money was their goal. They just wanted the money. Well, maybe you had good ideas, Aquarius. You may be asking somebody not to talk to you anymore. It's a rude awakening for them. Something about money or valuable. You were valuable or you're valuable. They didn't want you to know that. You may have grown up in a family where they never told you how valuable, smart, pretty, fun, capable you are. You never got really, they didn't feed your soul. We had to get out of here. Whoa, yep. Security in reverse. There was no security within this dynamic. Christmas is turned upside down. There was no joy. Think about Christmas. It's joy, it's fun, it's family on Christmas. Clear skin in reverse. It's like they didn't want you to see what they were doing or what they really were after. I don't know why this person would want to cut you down, though. We did say it was like spiritual warfare, so it could be something. They could have been being used, being used by, you know, other entity. Let's see what signs you were dealing with. Maybe, you know, you had a call or you have a call on your life. And all of this was to derail you from your call fourth house so of course your family your background where you found comfort so it's like who you're dealing with is family maybe Aries um, you could be Aries you could have Aries in your chart someone who was bossy 
They were argumentative, hot-headed. Someone who caused challenges in your life. You know, they were there to motivate you, but it just caused a challenge in your life, but it also made you stronger and motivated you, you know, um, into something, you know, making something out of nothing, reconciling things. You're, you're also coming to understanding, reconciling it within yourself that maybe these people just don't care for me. They don't like me for whatever reason. But all of that hardship, it, it was like pressure, you know, can make a diamond and that's what they made out of you. Opposition, whoa. Trying, okay, I like this. So opposition, ugh. So opposition here, that's what they caused in your life. They caused test, conflict. This could be, I'm getting, I'm picking up real heavy mother. The fourth house is um, mother, children, home, family. Stability, roots. Now you're coming into trying, into some harmony with yourself and understanding your gifts. You're being lubricated because you're about to flow like water. You're enjoying yourself now. You're coming into those body goals. You're getting a lot of thoughts. Whoa, they're coming real fast. Then maybe in the past you were hard headed about something, you didn't want to listen. You didn't want to listen to what universe spirit was telling you to do, what you should go after. You were dealing with some loud mouth who just had a lot to say, who could be a smoker. You suspended this relationship. You just put it on hold. We saw that in those all different sp spreads. You were honest with them. You're not making any moves. By Thanksgiving, some of y'all about to be engaged. Engagement ring coming out. We did see that for some of you. You could be mixed race. Something could start out platonic, ra very rational, and they could grow. You might be telling somebody you're not healed and you don't want to deal with that. You, that they're, they are not healed. Right now, this is just the energy where you just really focus in on you and you just kind of making sense of everything. Why nothing was really working out for you. Why you couldn't get ahead. And it was because, you know, the witchcraft and the witchery or the bitchcraft that people were doing on you, you know, just being, you know, just not nice to you. And it internally, it frustrated you and it, it frustrated your soul. And maybe you were given to situations where these people were just rude to you and they had no intention of actually ever changing. Listen to that one reading, uh, reading I did. Um, was it James and the Giant Peach? You were put amongst like wolves to grow and you grew. But now you're understanding something that Inheritance isn't always that somebody took your money from you or they took money from you or whatnot. But somebody may have maybe took your confidence, the essence of you, who you thought you could, you could be. Imagine who you would be if you had somebody pouring into you from, you know, a baby versus you having somebody feeling obligated to take care of you, um, looking at you as a possession, got their grips and their holds on you. They don't want to let you go. You've got to come out of all of that. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you for being here. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I'm going to be live tonight, Monday night, because I was not live Sunday night. All right. Um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.